Right, here we are, back again with a Handyman Savage video. Today we're going to be looking at fixing a wire which has been cut or severed by somebody using a lawnmower. Not me, I promise. So there's the wire. Now normally, I've known people just use these connector blocks and then just put some insulation tape over the top. The only problem with these is you get a bit of snag or pull on the wire, the wire will just come out and you probably end up um, having the same problem again with a, with a broken wire. So the way to do it properly is to use one of these and these are basically called waterproof junction boxes. Um, not only are they waterproof, they've actually got snug fittings on the end to prevent the wire from getting pulled from each side. And usually it's just four or five parts to it. You've got the end cap there, you've got the section which holds the actual wire inside to stop it getting pulled in there. And usually inside you've got a junction box which connects both wires together and then you've got the same on the other end. So I'm just going to show you how to fit one. And if you, if you just want to know where you get these junction boxes from, I just bought a pack there, just get them off eBay easy enough. And they're just basically called a waterproof junction box. So what I've done on one side of it, as you can see, I've already fitted the end cap and the rubber uh, holder of the wire there. I'm just going to do the same on the other side. So put that through there and do the same on this one. And that goes through there. So I've got the junction box there and what we're going to do is we've got a neutral which is the blue wire and then we've got the live which is the brown wire so we're just going to put them both in at the same time into there hold them in so they're quite snug and then we're just going to basically tighten the screws Same for that one. Make sure they're tight. And get that nice and snug like that. So that should go in okay there. Now we need this part as well. So what I'll do, I'm going to just put, put that through there. So it's ready to connect to this side. Now I'm just going to do the other side again. So I've got the blue wire, I've got the brown wire, and basically just twist it that way. Neutral and live. Just going in there. Just gonna hold them still. Okay, that one's tight. Same for the brown. Screws are tight. Okay. On this one, it's actually a three-pole one. So if, if you had a, new, uh, a neutral wire, you could stick it on there as well. Uh, but we don't want to have one in this lawnmower. So the moment the truth is, you get this middle section that over the top, one side there, tighten it on there, same on the other side of there, and just basically put them tight together. And then the last thing to go on is the end cap, just put that on there, tighten that, and Bring the other end cap over as well. Tighten that. And there we go. So there we go. One fixed, no more wire. Waterproof, solid, and won't snag. Like, subscribe, and follow the channel.